Checking for nulls, whether you think it's a bad thing or a good thing, we gotta do it, it's gonna happen. And there are lots of different ways we can do it. The classic way being that if statement of, if something is null, then do something else. But I'm gonna show you that there is another way with a null coalescing operator. Before we get into this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, uh, or to this channel even, if you want some more C-sharp content. Uh, but let's get into how we can use the null coalescing operator to use an alternative way of checking for nulls in C-sharp. So I've got a console application here, good old trusty console application, and I'm gonna just write a message out to the console. That's all this program's gonna do, it's super simple. Uh, so I'm gonna just put in a console.write line and just put in a, a hello Nick. Let's go, let's go with hello Nick rather than hello world. So just a simple example of what this console is gonna be. Uh, so I'll just compile that and run it and we've got hello Nick. So I wanna print out a different message, but I also want that message to be based on a variable. So I'm just gonna set a variable here at the top. So it's a private static because we're in a, a console application, string, and I'm gonna call it underscore message, for a private field, and that's gonna be our hello Nick. There we go. So instead of writing out the string literal, I'm gonna write out message cool and we'll just run that and there you go we've got hello nick same result now what if that message variable is null i know it's unlikely to happen in this use case but for example's sake and we're going to set that message to null what are we going to see and i think you've probably guessed that we're going to see a whole lot of nothing so i'll just run that and you can see we've got no message Okay, but maybe we want, we want to print something if the variable's not. You know, we don't want to just leave that input as being blank. So we can do it the old fashioned way. And the old fashioned way being a plain old simple if statement. So we can just say if message is equal to null, then let's print something different. So let's print out hello stranger. Actually, you might have to actually put something in front of that, Nick. <laughs> Here we go. So, hello, stranger. Otherwise, print out your message. Cool. There we go. So let's just run that. And there we go. Because that variable is null, we've printed out hello, stranger. Now. That's not a huge amount of code, but we could make that shorter, make it look a, li a little bit cleaner. Uh, how can we do that? The null coalescing operator. So let's show you what that looks like. So I'll get rid of all this and we'll set our new variable. So this is a message. And we're gonna set that equal to whatever our private message variable is. So this is gonna be equal to whatever this is. So in this case, it's gonna be null. Um, so we still need to do our null check. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, um, let's do our check on the message variable. So, because I've started that wrong. So it's gonna be equal to message. Unless it's null, then we can set it to hello stranger. So what's this weird double question mark thing I've just added in? Well, that's our null coalescing operator that we've been talking about. And that's just a shorthand way of doing the same thing we did just with the if statement to say, if something is null, then set our message to a different value. So message is equal to this, unless it's null. So if it's null, our contingency, set it to this instead. And then we can just go ahead and print or write line message because that will already have checked for the null and we're good to go. So I'll just run that. And you can see, even though underscore message is um, null, we've still printed something else. Oh, we've got hello stranger. And we've not had to put an if statement in. We've shortened the amount of code. And overall, I think it's a bit readable, or a bit more readable, sorry. So it's obviously personal choice, but it's just another way, an alternative way of checking for nulls in C-sharp. And there are 
There are a few more operators similar to this that do a sort of no checking for you in a sort of um, nice shorthand way. It's a bit of syntactic sugar, something that makes it you know, look a bit more fancy, so to speak. Um, but it's just a short example. Um, and if you find yourself checking for nulls by saying if my variable equals is equal to null, then maybe you'd benefit from looking at the null coalescing operator. If this has been useful, hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you more for some more C-sharp content. Thank you.